What's up, Yang Gang fam? So today, we're talking about Joe Biden's vice presidential pick. First, I want to get your thoughts. Let me on the spot here. Well, I mean, who likes Kamala? I mean, she suspended before Yang, so I mean, not many people. She was a cop. She likes to put people in jail. And I don't know. I just don't like Kamala. I never have. The only pick that would have been good in my eyes, though, would have been Andrew Yang, so... Nobody's gonna vote for that. Okay, people are gonna vote for it because they're vote blue no matter who, but you're not pulling in Bernie supporters or the Yang gang with that pick. Just saying. <laughs> this has got to be... <laughs> this is proof positive. We talk a lot of times on this show about how the DNC is nothing but a for-profit corporation. This is just another example. This is proof positive that they are nothing but for profit. Because they don't care if Donald Trump wins. You've got cities who are, which are engulfed in flames because of riots and protests, because of police brutality and police overreach. And you as the Democratic Party, you put forth the guy who voted or who helped craft the crime bill. Mm-hmm. I put a lot of people in prison. And a Silicon Valley cop. They don't care if Trump wins. They don't. If they did, they would not have put number one, those two. That, ha- For those who out there who think that either one of these political parties has any of our best interests at heart, you're fooling yourself because they don't. They don't care about us. All they care about is establishing and keeping their power. Andrew Yang kind of spoiled us, you know, because he actually cared about or cares about people. And like for the past year and a half, we've been following Andrew Yang. We're like, we have this hope, right? That politicians can be good. And then you're like, wait, Andrew's not a politician. So, no, politicians are still bad. They don't have our best interests here. It's disgusting to see the where we are at in this country. It is literally disgusting. If they cared, they would have already come to an agreement, some kind of another relief package agreement, mm-hmm. if they cared. They don't. If they cared, they wouldn't have never put forth, they would have never tried to cut the legs out from underneath Andrew Yang every chance they got. And it makes me so sick to see Andrew Yang having to, like, smile on the outside while these people continue to do to him what they've done. If y'all are not aware, yesterday they released the DNC speaking list. Mm-hmm. And conspicuously absent was Andrew Yang. And that's why Let Yang Speak DNC was trending yesterday in the number three spot. Because the Yang Gang actually got fired up about it and were like, yeah, let Yang speak. But it took a big name to say something about it. They may have changed their mind. I don't know yet. So he is in talks, his his camp is in talks with the DNC to see if they can work something out as far as getting him on there in some capacity. But, you know, I saw a tweet earlier and... It, it equated Andrew as that guy that sits on the bench there with his team and he's constantly cheering his team on. And the coach never picks that that guy. And, and he's like cheering so hard for his teammates. And, and, it, and it makes me sick because here's the thing. Andrew Yang will never get anywhere in the DNC or the Democratic Party. He will never get anywhere because he's not part of the group. Mm-hmm. He's not part of the group. And he never will be unless he sells his soul. Unless he sells out. The fact that they keep stringing this this Biden cabinet position thing along, all they're doing is trying to keep us on board until uh, it's a Mm care. And they're just trying to keep us on board until the elections. Yep. Guess what? I am not voting for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. I'm not doing it. 
And they're already starting the same shit that they started last cycle. Oh, well, you can't say nothing bad about Kamala Harris or you're sexist and you're racist. Go ahead and give me my deplorable card again. I guess I'm a deplorable all over again. That's the same shit that the DNC tried the last time. How'd that work out for you? Because all you did was alienate a group of Americans who are kind of sitting on the fence because they don't really like Trump. But guess what? I can't stand that side even more. It is like some sort of sick joke where it's it's like they conspired or something and they said, okay, we're going to give you the worst people possible. You're going to get Trump and Pence and you're going to get Biden and Kamala. This is the worst people we could find for you to vote for. And you have to pick one of these pairs. That's what it's like. It's like they picked the worst thing imaginable and they were like, hey. The you, most nightmarish scenario that they could possibly come up with. Let's see how fun this is. Let's see who Americans choose. This bad guy or this bad guy? You know, I don't know. It is like a big joke. That's why I'm not voting for either. Joke's on us, America. Question is, what are we going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Leave a comment below.